You watch YouTube videos to learn English. I'm going to give you two very simple tips that you can use to improve the quality of the time you spend watching YouTube videos and also to increase your understanding of English. When you're watching YouTube, there are a couple of settings that you can change that are going to help you to understand more of the videos you watch. If your goal is to learn English, you want to make it as easy as you can for yourself. And this is true for any other language as well. So by making these two changes to the settings in YouTube, you can improve your ability to understand the videos you're watching. Now, we're going to change to my screen for the next part of this video so I can show you on my computer screen exactly what you need to do. This is a video that I created about how to have a better conversation in English. Now, some parts of this video might be a little bit difficult to understand. So, if we go to the toolbar, now the toolbar is this part down here at the bottom, okay, with all these things here. You'll see this, this circle, right, this, uh, this, I guess it's like a cog, and it says settings, okay. So, we need to go into the settings, and here is the first tip is when you go into your settings, you have subtitles. Now, at the moment, the subtitles are off. If we go to this arrow here and we click, you can see, now for this video, I created some subtitles. I created subtitles in Arabic, Chinese, English, French, and so on, right? So, if one of your languages is here, you can click and have the subtitles in that language. And the student I knew was an intermediate level student, but... Okay, so you can see right now these are in French. So if we go back to the settings and we go to subtitles, right now they're in French. Now maybe you wanna watch it just in English. Of course, you can choose English subtitles. Uh, and then maybe you don't see your language on this list of languages. If you go to the bottom here, you see the auto translate option. Now, if we click here, it will give us a list of many, many more languages to choose from. A lot of languages. Now, maybe your language is still not in this list. If that's the case, I'm very sorry, but there are a lot of languages in here. So let's try. Um, now, I'm trying to think a language that I can maybe understand. I speak a little bit of Italian, I speak a little bit of German, so let's put it into German and then let's just see what it's like. He sounded just very, very fluent. And we had this very interesting conversation. And after the conversation finished... Yep, so just looking at those subtitles in German, they look pretty good, right? They're, they're easy enough to understand. Um, they seem correct. Now, with the auto-translate, it is a little different from if you have... Let's go back to the subtitles. If you have the... The subtitles that I created, I, I've sort of put in those translations and I've sort of checked them so that, to make sure that they're pretty good translations. Auto-translate, it might not be a perfect translation, but it's still going to be better than nothing, especially if you're watching a YouTube video that maybe parts of it you really don't understand. This is a great little tool to use to help you understand what's happening in the video in your own language if you need to. Of course, what's best? It's best to just watch the video in English without any subtitles. But of course, if you can't understand parts of the video, help yourself. 
watch with the subtitles. Watch with the subtitles in your language if you can. So now you have your video with subtitles in your language. Remember we said you in your toolbar, so this is your toolbar at the bottom, you have to go to the settings, click on the subtitles where it says CC, which CC is closed captions or subtitles. You click on the language and then right now we've got it in French or German, well it's in German, but if you click auto translate, remember it's going to give you that big list of lots of different languages and hopefully you can find your language in that list and it will auto translate the video, the subtitles for the video for you. Again, like I said, if you're watching my videos, I've got it translated for you in a number of sort of common languages, but again, Click on auto translate and hopefully you'll find your language and then you can watch the video with the subtitles that can help you to understand the parts of the videos that maybe are a little difficult to understand. Okay, so here's tip two. Tip one, use the subtitles. Tip two, we're going back to the settings again. Now this time we're going to go to the part where it says playback speed. Now playback speed is how fast or how slow you listen to the video or how fast or how slow you watch the video. Right now you can see it's set to normal. Let's click here and you can see that we have some different numbers. If we go up, the video gets faster. So here you go, we've set it to 1.75. Speaking, he was repeating some of the things I said. So at one point we were talking about going to college and I said, you know, you really should think about going to college. And the... All right, <laughs> that's kind of difficult to understand what's going on. We don't want to make it faster. What we want to do is we want to go to that playback speed and we want to make it slower. So if we go lower in number, the video will get slower. Now, if we go too far, let's try it at 25%. That's too slow, right? That's way too slow. We don't want it that slow. What we want is we want it at about 75% of the normal speed. So that means it's about 25% slower. So if we listen to it now... Going to college. And so, obviously, from my perspective, I thought, oh, he wants me to talk more about going to college. Now, you can hear it's still quite slow, but, but again, if you're watching a YouTube video where the person presenting the video or the person presenting in English is speaking faster, this is going to help you to process the language. To listen to the language slower will help you to understand what they're saying in the video. Now, if we go back to our settings again, and we go to playback speed, you'll notice that we moved it down 25%. So we moved it to 75% of the normal speed. But if we move up here to the top, you'll see we have this custom button. Now this custom button here is really useful because right now we're at 75%. But you see, we can move it to whatever speed we feel comfortable with. So let's say, for example, maybe 85% of the normal speed. So let's try that one now. So I said, well, you know, in the United States, you could go to a college and you could take more advanced English composition lessons or English composition courses. Okay, so that's still quite fast at that speed. So. Again, we might say, okay, well, yeah, that's a little bit too fast. So let's take it down to go to the custom button again. And let's take it down to say, uh, let's take it down to say 
80, right? 80 percent. That that seems like that would be a good speed. Courses, and he said, "Oh, composition courses." And so I said, "Yeah, composition courses," and I began to. That's nice. That's a good speed, right? Again, right now because this is me speaking in this video, I'm already speaking quite slowly and, sp and quite clearly. But of course, there are going to be videos that you watch where they're going to speak at a really high speed, and you might not understand everything they say. So, if you can go to your settings, set the subtitles to your language, right? So let's change them to Spanish this time. Then set the playback speed to a speed that you feel comfortable with. So between those two settings, the settings of the subtitles that you can find, hopefully, in your language, and the changing of the playback speed, just bringing it down so it's a little bit slower between those two settings, subtitles and playback speed. Hopefully, you can understand a video in English much better. You can understand more of the video. You can help to improve your listening skills. You can help to improve your comprehension skills just by having these two settings clicked on to your preference. Using these two settings on YouTube is going to help increase your ability to understand the videos that you're watching. And it's going to help your comprehension skills and your, your listening skills as well. So try it out. You've got nothing to lose by changing these settings on YouTube. You'd be surprised how much more you'll understand of the English videos you're watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe and please give me a thumbs up as well.